Hi, I'm Andy Peel from CCDC. Welcome to this video on how to use the pore analyzer in Mercury. This feature is available in the 2023.2 CSD software release and in subsequent releases. It is a CSD community feature that is available to all users for free from the Mercury interface and is available through CSD Python API for CSD core users. In this tutorial, we will focus on using Pore Analyzer from the Mercury interface. Pore Analyzer allows you to explore a number of important parameters that characterize the voids in porous materials, including network accessible volumes and surface areas. To begin, launch Mercury. Pore Analyzer can interpret SIF files without any prior preparation. You can download these from the link in the description or by searching for the ref codes using access structures. To open the SIF files, go to File and then Open. For this demonstration, we have selected SIF files of CSD entries ABAVIJ and MAHPOD. Select both files and press Open. The loaded files will appear towards the bottom of the structure navigator. We will start off by looking at the SIF file for CSD entry ABAVIJ. To launch Pore Analyzer, go to the Calculate menu and select Pore Analyzer. Press Calculate and wait for the calculation to complete. A table of results will appear containing the calculated parameters. For full explanations of the calculated parameters, see the documentation linked in the video description. In short, there are three probes used in pore analyzer calculations. A point probe, a helium probe and a nitrogen probe. The point probe is used for geometric volumes, the helium probe is used in the calculation of helium volumes, whilst the nitrogen probe is used in the calculation of surface areas. You can customize these probes by ticking Show Advanced Options. In the present case, we know that the helium volume is small compared to the geometric volume and that the values reported for the surface area are zero. Noting that the maximum pore diameter equals 2.65 angstroms, which is less than the nitrogen probe sigma of 3.314 angstroms, we can interpret this as the voids being too small to accommodate the nitrogen probe. Deleting the ethanol molecule by going to the Edit menu and choosing Edit Structure and Remove Molecules, then clicking on the molecule, followed by running Pore Analyzer again, updates the values in the table accordingly. We can see some of the surface area values are now non-zero as the void size has increased and the nitrogen probe can fit in some regions. The results of the calculations can be saved as a CSV file by clicking Save As. This file can then be viewed by a text editor or imported into a spreadsheet program such as Excel. Our second example, loaded from the SIF file of CSD entry MAHPOD, consists of functionalized fullerene molecules. Running Pore Analyzer and inspecting the results illustrates two points. First, application of the Pore Analyzer is not restricted to MOF-like materials, and secondly, it shows the significance of the network accessible volume, and by extension surface areas. CSD core users can visualize the voids by going to display and selecting voids, then clicking apply. Turning packing on makes the view clearer. The interior of the fullerene core is itself considered to be a void, and contributes to the total helium volume. However, the void inside the fullerene cannot be reached by any path through the remaining continuous void space in the crystal structure. It is therefore network inaccessible, and the network accessible helium volume is less than the total helium volume. To summarize, we have seen that Pore Analyzer can calculate a number of important properties of porous materials, and can be run directly on your own SIF files to facilitate comparison with experimental values. We hope that you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.